Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 of my eye surgery video. Watch part 1 here, link in the description. Let's get to it. In this part 2 of my ICL vlog, I'm going to share with you those juicy juicy footages of my eye surgery video. For those who are faint hearted, I recommend you to jump to the end of the video and just go through my some of my personal Q&A, you know, uh, how do I feel and my scan, how was my personal experience throughout the whole procedure and I will see you there. For those who are brave and you are curious and you want to know more, let's get to it. It is 6.30 a.m. and I am not a morning person but my surgery is scheduled at 7.45 so I'm headed to the eye specialist right now Specialist, I'm not a morning person <laughs> So I'm not supposed to wear any makeup near the eye area but I'm not wearing makeup on the face area because I'm extra like that and hopefully this will be my last video in specs Okay, bye!
gave the second eye. I think I can see a little bit. It's actually not painful. It's just that the, the light is a bit glaring. And then there's a little bit of pressure. But since it's on anesthetic and I'm under Xanax, so I'm feeling pretty alright. my left eye is having a little bit more discomfort because I have astigmatism on this eye and during the procedure the doctor was helping me uh, to try and correct that a bit so the discomfort but on the right eye I don't feel anything at all which is amazing and uh, I'll be talking more and explaining more about my experience afterwards so um, yeah transition just woke up from a nap after my surgery I'm feeling all right and I'm supposed to wear these eye shields over my eyes when I sleep looks kind of like a fly with thousand eyes you know <laughs> and I'm supposed to drip 
all this uh, two for my left eye and two for my right eye every two hours for the first week post-op and uh, we're gonna decrease that for a week after the surgery and that will be decided by the doctor after my review visit so yeah this is how I'm gonna sleep for the coming few days so sexy <laughs> So it has been a week since my ICL surgery and uh, I'm not supposed to wear any eye makeup and I'm actually celebrating my boyfriend's birthday now! Happy birthday! Thank you! Yeah, so uh, I can see pretty well. I'm supposed to still continue my antibiotic and uh, steroid drip every few hours but everything's alright. As you can see, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking and I'm eating fine. So I would say that yeah, the the, uh, the healing was pretty good and I can actually see one day after the surgery just that the vision is a little bit blurry but now it's at almost, I, I would say at almost like 90% which I think is pretty amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to my food now. Okay, bye. Say bye. Just stick in. Stick in. <laughs> hi, welcome to the Q&A section. And Today is one month post-op which means it has been one month since my surgery day. My eyes can see perfectly well. Uh, I do have some halos at night which means like a little big uh, circle that I can see whenever I look at lights like street lights or when a car passes by you know the headlights. So uh, that's a little bit uh, annoying but it's not too bad. Not much discomfort anyways. I still have a fear of rubbing my eyes. Actually I haven't rubbed my eyes ever since the procedure because I was so paranoid. But I do not have any discomfort since then. Uh, and I do notice that my dry eyes actually improve a little bit. I guess it's because I kept using artificial tears which help a lot in my dry eyes and I'm no longer uh, wearing contacts for a long time so I guess that helps as well. Alright, now the biggest question, cost. Before you actually go through your surgery, like what I mentioned, you have to go through an eye assessment. The eye assessment flow was in the part one of this series so make sure you check that out. I answered some questions in that video as well. So the cost for my eye assessment was roughly about 300 So after the eye assessment it is advisable for you to do the operation uh, or any vision corrective procedure within three months after your eye assessment to make sure that the test result is still valid so uh, that's the first payment about 200 let's say 300 all right so 300 for the eye assessment and uh, for the eye surgery itself it is all inclusive so it is by eye so my eye was uh, it was 6998 7000 so it was 7000 one eye and 7000 on another eye if you were to go for a TIC it is actually 1,000 more so say if you have astigmatism on both eyes and you wish to correct it it would be 1,000 more which is about 8,000 8,000 so that would be 16,000 but for my case it was 7,000 7,000 so it was 14,000 for both eyes and um, during my review appointment uh, the, the day after the surgery actually uh, there are no charges the week after the surgery I have to pay a 68 ringgit for my review session so every review session is about 68 bucks so far I went for or three review sessions so I paid uh, not not counting in the first day post-op I actually paid twice for my review so that's roughly about 140 ringgit as well so uh, subsequently every three months every six months you have to go for a review session as well but all in all from uh, your eye assessment to one month post-op it'll be about 300 plus 14,000 plus 140 so you have to prepare roughly about I don't know lah my editor will edit the number here there I, I really cannot math la. I, I really cannot math la. I really cannot math la. That's roughly 40 so about 8,000 is it expensive? Yes, it can be costly. However, uh, I chose to pay my fees over the course of 12 months by an installment package so it wouldn't be so much of a huge burden at one go. And another thing is that uh, if there is an investment that I'm going to do, it is definitely on my own body, my own health and my own eyes. Because you know, we see through our eyes every day, it is so important to us and I am still relatively young. If I were to do any vision corrective surgery, I should have done it at an earlier 
an age so that I can use my eyes for a longer time. So if you look at it, it is actually uh, a good investment over the amount of this many of years. I hope I can live longer lah. But yeah, I mean you get the point. So how long does the surgery take? From me stepping to a clinic, getting my uh, blood pressure checked and my glucose checked and uh, getting my eye drop to the moment that I entered into the operation theatre, it took about like 40 minutes-ish. But uh, the surgery itself was really, really quick. It was 3 to 5 minutes per eye. I have to go out in between to get my eye pressure checked and come back in. That also roughly takes about 10-15 minutes and I proceed to my another eye which is about 3 to 5 minutes as well. So yeah, it's really quick. Is the surgery painful? Is it uncomfortable? Well, um, the moment that I enter and when they wash my eyes with uh, Povidon, I can see like yellowish liquid. I can feel it uh, going down my eyeball. And uh, when they injected some liquid into my eye, I can see like kaleidoscope. Like, you know those kind of colors? Editor edit in here. <laughs> so I can see like kaleidoscope ish sort of view. And after that, when they make an incision, I actually feel the pressure, but there's no pain at all. Uh, just a little bit of pressure. And when they insert the ICL in, I can actually feel the lens going into my eyeball. It's uh, how do you say it? It's like when you wear contact lens, you feel it, but this one is on the inner side and amazingly there's no pain at all just a little bit of pressure sensation like something pushing like inside your eyeball and um, the only discomfort thing that I felt is that because when they have to carry out the procedure they have to use the light and you know shine onto your eyeball so, you can, so that they can carry out the procedure more precisely so I was asked to focus on the glaring light which can be a little bit uncomfortable because you know when you see bright light your, your reflex is just to shut your eye and just rest but when I was asked to focus on that glaring light that was a little bit uncomfortable all in all, the procedure was not painful at all. Uh, I do feel a little bit of pressure sensation here and there, especially when the incision was made and when the lens unfold. And you know when the lens unfold inside my eyes that you can see in the video, it's actually, I can see a little bit clearer than usual already. About like 40% like immediately and that was kind of amazing to me. I was like, oh my god, I can see. <laughs> uh, will I blink during the surgery? No, because my surgeon actually used a speculum, which is like the clipper thingy to sort of force open my eyes. So uh, I couldn't even if I want to and I definitely didn't try to. How long does it take me to fully recover? Okay, so the first day after the procedure when I blink my eye, I can feel something inside like um, a little bit of discomfort. Like when you have something foreign inside your eyes and you can try, try to blink it and try to wash it out, it's sort of like that feeling but it wasn't irritating, it's just a little bit pressure. And whenever I wash my face, uh, if my finger accidentally brush over my eye, I actually feel a little bit discomfort. So I was just really, really paranoid that I might poke my eye or something like that but that never happened. Yeah. Yep, those are just some mild discomfort and we are actually advised to wear our eye shield when we sleep so when we turn around it doesn't really um, squish our eyeball <laughs> so I think that's alright as well Need to rest how many days after the surgery okay uh, actually just the day after I'm feeling really really fine already I can actually uh, go out and drink coffee drink coffee <laughs> so only one day one only one day of downtime but I do have some uh, visual learners two to three days after the surgery. Can I rub eye? Will it fall out of position? Does it hurt if I cry? No. <laughs> and I've never rubbed my eyes ever since the surgery day until now. I don't dare to. I used to have this bad habit of rubbing my eyes when I'm feeling tired but I completely that habit is totally out of my life right now. And will it fall out of position? Uh, so far not really. I asked my surgeon about this and he told me unless there's some really intense injury that caused uh, the eye see how to fall out position otherwise it doesn't happen that easily <laughs> does it hurt if i cry so far so far i haven't cried yet la. so <laughs> i don't know ha, but i, I wouldn't want to try is there any blue black bruises around the eye area no because basically we don't do anything here we are doing we are actually doing the procedure on the eyeball area so for me there wasn't any blue black bruises and is there any post-op halo so yes i do have post-op halo uh, i was informed that before my surgery when i signed the consent form so the post-op halo is still here and today is about more than a month about a month after the surgery i have halo on my only on my right eye my left eye was perfect except from the halo part i think everything was healed quite perfectly how does it feel when i don't have to wear specs anymore one word amazing <laughs> you know uh, i can finally do sport 
airports without my specs or worry that I left my specs elsewhere or I have to get condolence and take care of the condolence hygiene after a long day. So those are just really, really great. Uh, I mean, it's a good convenience for me and those are just really, really some great points. And to me, I'm really happy that I can see when I wake up in the morning and I can just go to sleep at night without a care. So I was really happy about it. If you have any concerns, whether it's financial or personal, always, always consult your eye doctor, get an assessment done and make a decision after proper research. Once again, I'm really happy to be talking to you guys. I really hope that you enjoy this entire vlog. If you miss out part one, watch it here, link in description. If you want to watch more videos like this in the future, do remember to subscribe to the channel, to our channel and turn on the notification bell and I will see you next time. Bye!